happy Saturday. If you're a regular on my channel, you know that I was on a quest to get a Geo Tracker for years. Finally got one, and then less than a thousand miles later, it blew a head gasket. This has been sitting for more than a month. $1,200 later, it's fixed. New head gasket, new timing belt, first start of the day. All the lights work. Start it up. 96,600 miles. Gonna run some errands today. I'm about 60 or 70 miles on the repair. Truss needs to be rebuilt with me and the tracker. I wanna take it out to the desert right now, but I wanna drive it around for a while. Keep an eye on the oil and coolant level. Make sure they're not changing. Make sure they're not mixing up. So let's drive this thing. Air conditioner running. 65 miles per hour. 3,500 RPM. Really short gearing on this thing. I'm doing a combination of side street and freeway today. When this thing blew a head gasket less than 1,000 miles into owning it, I was regretting this purchase. I was telling myself, I paid $7,000 for a 30-year-old Geo Tracker. I didn't even want to look at this thing for the month plus it was sitting. It's all cleaned up now, looking good again. I was regretting it, and I said that in my video. I should have put a rear locker in my van, put bigger tires, and re-geared it. I should have did that instead of getting this thing and just make my van really off-road worthy but I've been wanting one of these for 10 years but you guys told me in the comments once you got once you fix it the regret will go away and you'll be happy again my biggest stress was did it crack an engine block did it did it crack a head is it a catastrophic engine failure so I did start it up a few times after the initial blown head gasket then it sat for a while but I just wanted to make sure it was running. It didn't seize up. But one of the reasons I bought this thing over something like a Daihatsu Rocky, which I also really like, is because parts are readily available for it. A new engine's $2,500. So I was telling myself, okay, if this thing needs a new engine, $2,500, let's say installs a thousand. That's $3,500 to get it running again, plus the seven I paid for it, $10,500. It's a lot of money, but it's still ten thousand dollars. You know, it's it's not a hundred thousand dollars. Repair bill ended up being twelve hundred dollars. So a new timing belt, fixed head gasket. It's running again. The regret is starting to go away now. I'm I'm happy again. Just looking at this thing, it's reminding me why I wanted one so much. I just want to drive it. So check this out. So. I love the 90s graphics I just I'm just happy with how nice this thing is and even my dad told me that I should replace this with the new one I wasn't even thinking about that and they're really hard to track down but I did find one and that's gonna make it look a lot better see something just simple like that makes it look even better Hold fast, he left me a comment saying that he didn't understand a stock geo tracker at first because it's all about lifting these things and putting bigger tires on them. And now he's starting to see what I mean by making it a making it a time capsule, keeping it a time capsule. So yeah, when I drive this thing, you know, it's man, it's so nostalgic. So many people have offered to buy this from me. People ask me, is this for sale? Even my neighbor. I think he's in his 70s or 80s. He bought a brand new Firebird, a 60s Firebird. I think it's a 67, like a late 70s Firebird, brand new. He went up to me and he said, I really like that a lot. Are you ever going to sell it? If you ever sell it, could you sell it to me? So I'm thinking that the people that really like this thing, maybe they got it as a first car. You know, like these were about 12 grand when they were brand new. So if you're starting off in life, 12 grand is a good starter car. So maybe someone who's getting their first job bought this thing brand new. 
and now they're like older you know so let's say you're let's say you're 20 years old in 1992 so 30 years ago now you're 50 so now you're 50 and maybe you miss having this thing maybe you're looking at this thing in your 50s and saying I really miss my tracker I really want one again and that's why I really like this thing a lot just looking at it or maybe someone who wants one now is telling themselves man I my parents gave me this as a hand-me-down and I abused it I didn't take care of it now looking back I had a lot of fun with it and I really want one again and I think that's what's driving the value up on these things my other theory is that since so many people modified Suzuki Samurais, this is basically a second generation Samurai. This is next in line to be modified, lifted, big tires. So there's still stock ones of these available. It's getting really hard to find a stock Samurai. But yeah, I'm keeping this as is. Bigger tires and lift kits are cool. And this thing would be cool with even bigger tires and a lift kit. It would be even more capable off-road but one of the biggest appeals of this thing for me is that even stock they're great off-road it's a serious off-roader I appreciate how it has a factory skid plate factory recovery hook it looks like a toy but it was built for off-roading and the off-roading I do desert off-roading it doesn't need a lift kit it's fine the way it is so that was one of the biggest appeals is that I could keep this as a time capsule and I don't have to modify it and it does fine off-road makes easy work of the off-roading that I do finished driving this for the day AC is on I'm in my driveway idling 96,620 miles drove 20 miles mix of side street and freeway if you look at the temperature gauge I'm noticing that this is running colder now after the fix normally when I'm idling with the AC on the temperature gauge is half like it's covering this pitcher now it's under it's not covering the pitcher anymore so it is running a little colder I discovered the head gasket was blown because I always scan my gauges when I drive and I noticed this was climbing almost into the red that's when I pulled over and realized this thing has a blown head gasket when it happened Robbie left me a comment on my short of this thing running again and he left like a sewing machine and it does sound like a sewing machine so I'm gonna keep an eye on the oil and the coolant this is high right now because it's been running but once this cools down it'll go down a little bit and that's where I'm going to keep track of the coolant and the oil make sure the levels are staying the same and it's not mixing up